This is the BBC. You're listening to Friday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. With you in a minute, love. Go on, pigs, up you go. Listen to me. Nearly done. Look at this. Yes, Clary? Look, this jug. Yes, I can see it's a jug. It's Caroline and Oliver's jug. And it's chipped on the spout, look. So? Well, it's those blooming people you never cancelled. It's on the shelf in their room. They said it fell off. There's a jug just fall off a shelf. It's not exactly broken. This would never have happened if you'd done the very simple thing I asked you to. Sorry, Clary. I ain't got time to worry about it right now. I've got to get this slot to the abattoir and then pick up the new wieners. But Oliver's back tomorrow. What are we going to do about this jug? Oh, I won't rest till these people are out the house. Only a couple more hours, darling, and then they'll be on their way. Could tell the minute I looked at them they was going to be trouble. Oh, anyone can have an accident, love. But not with Caroline's jug. Look, have you got the bit that chipped off? Yes, they picked it up. It's in the kitchen. No problem. When I get home, I'll mend it. OK. Well, what do you mend it with? Glue. The only glue we've got in the house is Kira's paper glue. That won't work. OK, so I'll drop these pigs off, pick up the new wieners, and on my way home, I'll pick up some top-quality invisible glue. How's that? And I'll be keeping an eye on the wieners while you're getting the glue? Well, I'll... You um... never think things through, do you, Eddie? Oh, no, it's no good. I'll have to come with you. You wait while I pop this jug back in the kitchen. There's no need, Clary. No, I'm coming. I'm not sure I can trust you to get the right clue anyway. Oh, I'm just worried about him. He's so relentlessly positive. Celebrating her life, not mourning her death, he says. Easier said than done, as you and I know from experience. He did finally admit to me he hasn't been sleeping terribly well. Oh, I'm not surprised. <clears throat> he spent a good deal of last night at the kitchen table on his laptop. How long is he staying with you? Oh, I'm not sure. Until the memorial next week, at least. I don't know what his plans are after that. Back to Italy? Oh, he hasn't said. Well, maybe he'll want to move back to Grange Farm. Uh, it's possible, I suppose. Morning, ladies. Oh, Oliver. Hello. How are you? Not too bad, Lillian. Thank you. I'm so sorry about Caroline. That's very kind of you. Thank you. It's, it's a terrible loss. Yes, it is. But she wouldn't want doom and gloom and long faces. <laughs> she was always such a vibrant person. Precisely. <laughs> uh, Oliver, would you like to join us for a ride? Maybe on Bella? Uh, perhaps another time. I, I fancy a walk today, I think. Get some good Borsetshire air in the lungs after the steamy heat of Italy. Lovely to see you, Lillian. And you, Oliver. Cheerio, then. Goodness, I see what you mean. I am worried about him. <sighs> There's no right way to grieve, Shula. Whatever gets you through, in my experience. Right, fella, brace yourself. I'm coming up. <sighs> Ready, then? Ready. Have you by any chance seen the council website, Lillian? I take it you're talking about the planning page? Yes. Matt's drunken ravings? What does Justin make of it? He hasn't seen it yet. And I'm hoping Matt will have the wit to take it down before he does. I'm surprised to hear you spotted it. Are you a secret stalker of the council website or something? Not me. Oliver. She's a lovely little thing. Oh, Ruby, sure. <laughs> Full of life. Yes, yeah, she is. Uh, so so you, um, you were saying about Matt Crawford? Oh, uh, well, perhaps I was speaking out of turn. I, I, I shouldn't have mentioned it. No, not at all. I'm glad you did. What, um, what exactly has he written? Oh, I'm not sure I can remember. Uh, querying the value to the local economy, I think, mm. and uh, taking issue with the benefits regarding local employment opportunities and... 
Well, there were some other comments, none of them, shall we say, very tactfully put. I, I really wouldn't have brought it up, only I seemed you'd seen it. Oh, the man has no right. He isn't even a proper resident. Oh, I must say, it's very pleasant out here. I can almost feel Caroline walking beside me. Uh, do be quiet, Ruby. Now we've come this far, I think we might wander along to Grange Farm. Yes, yes, of course. I mustn't interrupt your walk a moment longer. Get a Ruby, what are you doing? <laughs> she seems to want to follow me. I'm sorry, Oliver. She's usually very good. She's just a baby. <laughs> I'll put her on the lead. Caroline would have been very taken with her. Cheerio then, Justin. Yes, bye. Careful, Eddie. No, I have done this once or twice before. They're only little ones. Uh, Clary. What? By the gate. Oh. I thought he was coming back tomorrow. Oh, forget the pigs, Eddie. We've got to speak to him. Don't look very happy. Well, he's just lost his wife. Hello, Oliver. Oh, no, Eddie. He's holding the jug. We're so sorry about Caroline, Oliver. Are you? It's a terrible shock. Oh, we've been reeling, all of us. Shall we dispense with the pleasantries? I'd like you to tell me what's been going on in my house. Oh, when you say going on... Joe just let me in. Oh, I'd have thought he'd have been picked up for his lunch club by now, wouldn't you, Clary? There were two strangers sitting in the drawing room. Strangers? Drinking tea. I can explain, Oliver. Joe introduced us all. Charming people, I thought, your paying guests. Oh, I think of them as clients. Am I to understand that you are running a bed and breakfast operation in my home? Oh, we did discuss it when I called you that time. What we discussed was you having some friends over to stay. Not that you were planning a full-blown business enterprise. Well, it's hardly been... Shut up, Eddie. A... I'm so sorry, Oliver. But the people you saw inside just now, they're the last ones ever... We put in a stop to it, with immediate effect. We never meant to start, really, did we, Clary? It just sort of happened. And then it was such a help, you see, with the rent. I don't know how to apologise enough. I am so sorry and ashamed. So Joe and I had a little chat with your clients, and then he took me through to the kitchen for a cup of tea. Oh, that was nice of him. And I found this on the table. Yeah? It's broken. When you say broken... Joe told me the paying guests had knocked it on the floor. We're going to mend it. We got some very good glue. Caroline was extremely fond of this jug. It's a beautiful jug. It meant a lot to her. It belonged to her mother. Oh. Well, when I'm done with it, you won't be able to see the joint. Why was this jug being used by strangers? It was on the shelf in the bedroom. Just out of interest. Which bedroom have they been sleeping in? Well... The big one, I suppose, with the ensuite? Yes. Our bedroom. In fact, mine and Caroline's. I don't know what to say. I wanted to come and see the place, this house where Caroline and I were so happy. I thought it might bring back memories of happy times. Instead of which, I discover strangers in our drawing room and Caroline's treasured possessions treated as worthless bric-a-brac. We didn't know it belonged to her mother. Caroline and I treated your family decently. We treated you well. We trusted you with our home. And you have rewarded us with thoughtless, insensitive presumptuous behaviour. She had her doubts, I think you know, about letting you live here. I persuaded her that you would be good tenants and look after our home. Now I fear she was right. I'm going to mend the jug, Oliver. The jug? The jug? You think this is about the jug? You won't be able to see the join. <gasps> oh, Oliver. There. See if you can mend that. Oliver! Oh, my goodness. Matt's really gone to town here, hasn't he? It's... <sighs> Rude. That's the best word, I think. And he's happy to put his name to it. Would you have preferred him to be anonymous? Oh, this is too much. It's the final provocation. Oh, Justin, it's nothing but the drunken ramblings of a lonely man in a hotel room. Ignore it. No, I, I can't ignore it. I've allowed this meddling to go on far too long. I should have acted sooner. Acted? Well, better late than never. Won't take much. A few well-placed calls to the people at Melling Equestrian Investments Limited. Shouldn't be difficult to separate Matt Crawford Esquire from his position, especially after the satisfyingly underwhelming turnout for his investor's day. Did, did you have anything to do with that, Justin? Oh, yes, of course I did. But darling... Well, don't pretend you weren't pleased he had egg on his face. But I didn't realise... Wasn't that rather petty? 
Lowering yourself to his level? No, it's nothing as to what I have in mind for him next. Justin, these comments online, they're annoying. They're vexing, even, but I, I wonder if we should be wary of overreacting. Matt simply isn't no, worth no, no, it. I've been far too patient for far too long. Justin, I have to ask, forgive me, but if this is because you're jealous, there's really, really? no No, need. no, this isn't jealousy, Lillian. This is payback. I intend to teach Matt Crawford a lesson he sorely needs. I'm going to crush him. How was your walk? My walk? Where did you go? I'm not... Uh, yes, my walk. Oliver? Sh shall we sit outside? Not just at the moment, thank you, Shiva. Well, I could bring you a coffee. No, no, thank you. I think, in fact, I might pop up to my room. Has something happened? A little time upstairs, I think, with my thoughts. Oliver, are you all right? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I'm well. Well, that's it, then. They've gone. Yeah. It'll be worse, love. Oliver didn't say nothing about taking the house back, did he? Or evicting us. We're going to leave anyway. No. Yes. You can't leave. Well, we can't stay. Not now. How can we look him in the eye? Where'd we go? Where we've been, all of us, thinking this was our place by rights. Somehow we deserve to live here. But we didn't deserve it. We don't deserve it. <laughs> I keep seeing Oliver's face. He was so angry. When did you ever see Oliver angry? We'll give him an hour or two, love, OK? To calm down. Then I'll go over to the stables and I'll talk to him. Explain everything. But tell him it was all my idea and I'll apologise. Oh, I don't know. State he was in, maybe we should leave it a day. Uh, maybe you're right. Well, at least I could make a start with mending that jog. I picked up all the bits from the ground and I'm going to fix it. Oh, Eddie. Don't you get it? Don't you understand? There's something so broke they can never be fixed. This is the BBC. You can follow The Archers on Facebook and Twitter. Find out how at bbc.co.uk forward slash archers.